Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking on the All Trades Accepted with the New York Rangers. So let's hop in here. And I think I'm going to do, you know, the sort of deal where I don't accept any player because it pretty much just ends up being the same thing every time. They take... Not from our first line, but second down just gets rinsed and we get a bunch of draft picks we don't want. So I'm going to accept all trades, but I am going to be a little bit picky with the trade block. So that way, you know, it just doesn't turn into a total joke. I've also always wondered, what is the purpose of this? Does anyone use this? Why wouldn't you just put 25 anyway? Like what happens if you get to five years and you're like, oh crap, well, well now I wanted to do a sixth year. Why wouldn't you just do 25? Is there something specific about making it five that I don't know about or 10, something like that? I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me, but... If any of you guys use it or know why or how it could be used, let me know. I guess it's like if you want to do, we have to win the cup in five years challenge sort of thing. That's one thing that comes to mind. Or if you just, you know, this looks too daunting. And it's like, I want to play this mode, but 25 seems like a lot. Even though you could just stop after five if you really wanted to. Regardless, let's jump in here with the Rangers and the Hartford Wolf Pack. See how many trades we can get. I just realized I didn't set it up with the expansion. So it won't start in the off season. And therefore, we won't get as many trades. So I'm going to go ahead... And reset it up here. Definitely not the first time I've done that. Hopefully I remember next time. But uh, yeah, let's let's jump in again here, shall we? There's the draft lottery. What player are we going to lose? Even though that draft lottery means legit nothing. Because they always forget to... Oh, that's kind of lame. Barkley Goudreau is a good player. But anyway, yeah, they always forget to put the expansion team in there. There's something going on. So that is not the actual draft order anyway, but I am going to go ahead and continue simming. Just for fun, let's sim pick and see. Ooh, okay. Happy Boolin. Let's see what X Factor this player has. I do, is that shock and awe? I'm not really sure. I feel like it is, but I could be completely wrong. Anyway, uh, oh, it is shock and awe. All right, cool. I forgot you could just go check that out, but very good pick for the Arizona Coyotes. Buffalo was first. In that draft lottery thing i'm pretty confident so let's see we have pick 17 so let's go ahead and pick a player here i am not picking him that's for sure i don't know it doesn't even really matter because we're not going to use them anyway but our scout recommended players are here but this guy is supposed to go at like 13 seems to have fallen let's try him out boom garnett medium top six forward Left wing sniper. Oh, and he's got one T. Let's go, Brock. Again, we added a contract here, so we don't have to worry about doing this because that would be tragic if we had to do that every time. So thankfully, that is an option and we don't need to worry. Let's sim up to free agency. Go edit our trading block and let's let the trade start flowing. In our surplus, I'm just going to put everything. Like, we're willing to trade any player from our team. I just don't want to accept any player, you know, because then that's when the fleecing begins. So we're going to set... Any forward, any defenseman, and on top of that, any goaltender. But I don't think anyone's coming for Igor. There we go. And I'll also set every single draft pick as well, which it seems like just current first needs to be turned on. I'm not really sure if this will restrict it in the way I want, but I've tried setting the player role. So we're going to be looking for a second line, a third line forward, and a top six defenseman, essentially. I don't know if that will be top six or better. Or if it's just going to be top six, it's probably going to be specifically what is written here. So let's find out. If we're not getting any trades again, we can just come back and modify it. So it's not a big deal. Moment of truth. Will we be seeing trades? Yes, we will. We're getting Voracek. All right, that's a big one already. Let's go ahead and accept that. Oh, we get another one here. No! What? How? Oh, because we're willing to trade anything and I want draft picks. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, we're getting fleeced again. We're getting Edler. In exchange for, okay, yeah, a fifth, Veerling, Kincaid. I don't even want to try that first guy's name, so just going to skip out on that. But I'm okay with this one, except that Tyler Ennis for Robertson. And then a few picks involved there as well, except that one. Another trade here involving a lot of draft picks, except we get another one from the Seattle Kraken. We're losing Skinner and a couple picks in exchange for... A couple picks. Accept trade. Nashville is sending us Los Angeles' third and Nashville's third in exchange for Ryan Reeves. No! How dare you? I must accept, but not happy about it. Rask and Mayfield for Lundqvist. A sixth, well, actually two sixes. All right. Yeah, let's accept. I am very not okay with this trade because I want Phillip on our team, but I don't have a choice, unfortunately. Florida is sending us didn't they? They had Vitrano before. And now they want him back, apparently. All right, fine. Okay, this is getting outrageous. I'm going to edit the trading block real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah? 
I'm down. I severely doubt anyone's coming for these players, but I have put them on the block nonetheless. And for once, what I'm going to do is actually try turning off draft picks. I want to see if we can get some more players here. I know that we have already accepted quite a few trades, including draft picks that we are just literally never going to use because it's a one-year thing. Let's see if we can get some trades that don't include draft picks for once, at least not coming back this way. I'm down to send them out, but I've had enough picks inbound holding for a sixth there we go now we're talking are we gonna get any more or is that gonna be the last one no it will not john merrill for a third except trade i feel like we're getting a lot of defensemen here in new york a lot of them are gonna be sent down to the ahl unfortunately it seems anyway all right we're done it is time to put the lines together, see what we got. But first, I'm going to simulate to the regular season just because I can. I'm going to keep it real here and say that we actually look pretty decent. We got a plus five on the first line now with Voracek. So that is going to be very beneficial. Our second line's sick. We got Kopp, Kreider, and Kapo Kako. And then we have Kravstov, Rask, and Lafreniere on the third line. Mott, Ennis, and Rooney on the fourth. Pretty solid offense. And then defensively... We got Klingberg and Fox, which is a plus two. We have Truba and Merrill, plus one. Edler and Yandel at a zero. That is very good defensively, in my humble, honest opinion. And in net, we've got Igor. 91 overall, cannot go wrong. Assuming Panarin doesn't get traded, which he won't because the computers never go for the big fish. But anyway, I think he's going to get the most points. I'll say he gets 87. Yeah, I got a bold prediction for this one. And I say we make the playoffs with 46 wins. As they do, my trade block was updated. So I've changed it once again. I do not want any draft picks coming our... Oh, wait, I, I totally mixed that up. Hold on. Okay, I got to change the wants and the surplus. Basically flip them for the draft picks. As I mentioned, definitely willing to shell out our draft picks as we are not going to be participating in the draft. And we know that. But the computers do not. They are unaware. So they may or may not come in hot for these draft picks. We got our trade block updated here. I don't know why Voracek's on there. I kind of don't want him to be on there. In fact, you know what? I'm going to remove him and add Kreider just because I don't want to break up that plus five first line. There you go. Sorry, Chris. I know that you did great for me in fantasy hockey this year and all. Had a complete breakout season, but you're on the block. Without further ado, let's jump into the simulation. Hot start here for the boys. We're losing Miller in exchange for Nassin and Neighbors. All right, except that we've brought it back a little bit here which is very promising eight two and three holy crap we're actually killing it right now 14 three and three that is not what i expected i keep expecting us to go on a massive losing streak and just come crashing back down to earth and it does not seem to be happening and then edmonton's gonna do this to us you absolute snakes i guess we gotta call up someone to the nhl for this move to go through so okay gotta do what you gotta do that's brutal. I guess Broberg gives this line a plus two. So that is decent. But I mean, he is 76 overall. I don't want to break up this pair here. And I don't want to break up this pair. So that's why I just stuck these two together. The line chemistry is just a bonus. Look what you've done, Edmonton. Look at that. A three-game losing streak. Okay, maybe I should have set up specific player wants. Because we're just going to get prospects in exchange for roster players now. We're losing Mott and Edler. So this game set us up for success. And it's just like late on in the season now that they're going to start crushing our hopes and dreams. But anyway, accept. Okay. And let's go to our roster moves again. Have to do this process a bunch. Best lines. Obviously, we still want that plus five there. Our offense. We have Tulio here, 63 overall on our fourth line. That's probably going to change. And I still want Klingberg to play up there. Yandel, do you... Oh, okay. Okay. At least we get a plus two down there. I'm fine with that. Why is Lindgren in the AHL? I'm calling him up immediately. After the trade, we now have a defensive core that looks like this. Fox, Klingberg still together. Truba will now be playing with Lindgren. Broberg will be playing with Yandel. Our offense, we called up Neighbors. And I believe he's the only... Actually, no. Maxime as well has been placed into the lineup and if we go to our goaltenders we got Igor still and Georgiev as the backup neighbors has low top six all right that's not too bad this trade deadline could not come sooner please we need to get there without any more trades I want our team to remain the way it is I'll set our status as conservative buyer let's enter the deadline I could try to find some trades some of these players. I do not want any of them. Voracek, you're not going anywhere. Nice try, bud. I might try to get Timothy Jimothy, though, because he would just really stack that second line. It'd be outrageous. Let's see. But then we're probably going to lose. All right, let's do it. Try to find a trade. No, nothing. Okay. I see you. 
Fine. There really isn't any players here that I actually want. Other than Oshi. I mean, we could Sagan, but... Almost making 10 mil. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think there's going to be any moves there that actually happen. And I don't really want a goaltender because we don't need one. We got Igor in net. I mean, I'll wait a little bit here. See if we end up getting a trade. Is there any way to kind of fast forward in a way? <laughs> Probably not, right? I had no idea that on this screen you could change this and check the stats. So he has a dash 22 at the moment. And then Brent Burns has a dash 2. Voracek is plus 34. That line is slaying. Why on earth would we put him on the trade block? Timothy Jimothy's point a game, basically. 61 points in 62 games. He's killing it as well. Here's the trade summary so far. Radulov is headed to the Jets in exchange for Nemesnikov. One for one. That's interesting. Jack Quinn and a sixth from Buffalo in exchange for Jonathan Dolan and a fifth. Oh, Tyler Sagan got traded to the Minnesota Wild. That's a big one. Tyler Johnson headed to the Blue Jackets. There's a lot to this trade deadline thing. I had no idea existed. Wow, this is crazy. You can even go to the Stat Central from here if you wanted to. You can edit your trading block. There's a lot going on here. Garnett Hathaway could actually be good for our fourth line. Add some physicality for the playoffs. Let's see, can we find a trade? Oh, we can. For a fourth? Absolutely accept that. Okay. I think we're done here. It seems to have really slowed down. And I mean, as I say that, there's a trade. Let's see what happened there with Arizona. Is anything big? Phil Kessel to Buffalo. That is kind of big. But yeah, we got Garnett Hathaway. And I believe that we could probably get out of here now and continue simming. I stand corrected. Garnett will be on the third line with Rask and Lafreniere. And then I have to edit the defense here again. So I want them to stay the same. Truba, you can come up. Broberg, so that we keep Yandel and Lindgren together down there. Seems to be working out. In net, obviously, nothing has changed. So this is the team that we are running with into the playoffs. Hopefully, we don't have a post-trade deadline collapse, but it's, you know, not going to be surprising at this point. Panarin killing it at the moment. We actually came off the deadline with winning so far. Wow, holy crap. We've only lost one game in regulation, two now since the trade deadline, but we are flying. Why are we so good? 54 wins. We got 54 wins that season. I don't think I've ever seen that many wins in an all-trades accepted. I rarely ever see over 50 in general. But for an all trades accepted, that is unheard of. The lads won the President's Trophy by 10 points. The Vancouver Canucks were second there with 105. Top 16 teams? Let's find out. No, it was not. We have, I think it stops at 17, which isn't that bad. But whoever was up there got shafted. They finished 12th, I think. Yeah, Florida got ruined. That's brutal. Somehow Panarin was not point a game. He finished with 81 points in 82 games, which is still solid. Don't get me wrong. Zabinijad had 70, Voracek 64. We had Fox with 63, Klingberg 56. So they really did well. Our starting lineup was phenomenal. Kopp had 52, so he exceeded expectations, honestly. Lafreniere with 48 when he was playing on the third line. Let's go. Look at this mad lad. A 922 save percentage, 236 GAA, and 43 wins. He's going to be taking home some hardware, that's for sure. So even if we don't win the Stanley Cup, we're not going home empty-handed here. Let's check out the entire league real quick. He should be at the top, I would think. Three wins above Demko, who was in second, and he did it in five less games. A 922 save percentage, which is the best on the front page here as well. And he also has the best goals against average. Not the most shutouts, though. Flurry has seven. And Igor had six, but he's right there. Yossi led defenseman with 91. What a crazy year from this guy. I mean, that's pretty much like his real season. He did phenomenal. Makar had 75. Miro with 74. Hedman, 74. Adam. Adam got 73. Hughes, or 73. No, 63. Sorry. Same with Hughes, they both got 63. And we have Klingberg here as well with 56. So on the front page here, we actually have two defensemen, which I am all for. That's amazing. Forwards, is Panarin going to be there? No, he's not. I didn't really expect him to be. But we had one player to break 100, and it's Rantanen. He gets 100 exactly. 66 helpers and 34 goals. Ovechkin with 54 goals. That's going to win him the Rocket Richard, it looks like. Matthews kind of close with 51. Let's go. All right. Playoff time. If we lose in the first round after that season, I'm going to be disappointed, but not surprised whatsoever. Here we go. Boston Bruins. We're one and one. Okay. Oh, we beat them. Nice. In only six games. Let's continue. We got the Blue Jackets here. And we are... I don't know what's going on. Oh my word, we beat them in seven. 
That was scary. Conference finals time against the Tampa Bay Lightning, and they are absolutely deleting us. Yeah, a sweep. Okay. Love to see that. The Jets and the Lightning are in the finals, and the Lightning go on to win it. The Laval Rocket win the Calder Cup. We weren't getting a lot of point production there. Our highest point guy in the playoffs was Kreider with 10 points in 17 games. No wonder we got put out. I mean, we probably also got shut down big time by Tampa Bay, which hindered those stats a little bit. Maybe after the first two rounds, they weren't so bad. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the awards. We already know all the team awards here, but individually... It's going to be a bit of a surprise, for some of them anyway. We already knew that Rantanen got the Art Ross, and most of the time, the Hart and the Art Ross end up being the same. So Rantanen gets that as well. Yossi with the Norris. McKinnon gets the Lady Bing. Bunting with the Calder. Vasilevsky with the Conn Smythe. Igor with the Vesna And the William M. Jennings. Let's go. Tyler Myers gets the Masterton. Tremblay with the Jack Adams. Kopitar gets the Selkie. Rantanen with the Lindsay. And as we saw, Ovi gets the Rocket Richard. Here's the playoff tree. And the Stanley Cup Finals went to six games, so Winnipeg pushed Tampa a little bit more than we did, but still no Game 7 for them. Tampa didn't go to a single Game 7. It was a sweep in the first round, five games in the second round, Conference Final was a sweep, and then the Stanley Cup Finals, they went to six. So it was a pretty convincing W for them. Well, at least we got the President's Trophy. I believe that's a first. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to keep giving me team recommendations. I'll see you soon.